place to start off. Um, well, first of all, thank you for being here. How are you guys enjoying Salt Lake Comic Con? I love it. Yeah, having a I great time. It. I was saying, I, I, um, I've been one, I've been, this is like my third year doing conventions, and I've been hearing since I started how particularly great this one is. That's you guys. That's you guys. Uh, and just everything about it. It's, you know, I've been saying, oh, it's, uh, it's, so well run, people are so friendly, they're, they all come out, and it's, and it's been great. And I had to, I flew in late last night because I had to work, but I'm uh, glad to be here. It's awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here. I agree with all of that. And on top of that, I don't know if you guys have tried the hand soap in the restrooms. <laughs> it's phenomenal. It doesn't leave your hands dry, it moisturizes, has a nice scent. That's everyone's takeaway. <laughs> I agree with all yeah. of that. The you great hand covered soap. all yeah. the good stuff. Yeah. Come here for the cod, but stay for the hand soap. Right. <laughs> Just the little comforts, you know. So, I, all right. Well, you guys were singing right off the bat. So, if you guys had to build, uh, let's say, you know, we we all know Guardians is deeply rooted in the soundtrack, and I think that's something that's truly wonderful about uh, that really immerses you into those into those films. You have to pick your own Guardians mixtape. What do you make? What, what's your own awesome mixtape? What what, what what are you putting on it? More stay in the time. Ooh. No, y'all y'all that Hold on, what was that? More stay in the time. Yeah, all right. Yeah, no, I I I, I was it was I was startled. <laughs> it, <laughs> would, it wouldn't just that be that. Was it wasn't what it was. That's all. That would be funny. <laughs> Guardians Three is all more stay in the time. <laughs> I'm for it. Maybe a little, I mix it up with, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, it's funny because um, my brothers and I are all really into music, and so the, the soundtrack that he created is very much um, a lot of the songs that I grew up loving as well. So I kind of know that whole catalog of, uh, you know, I, I, I believe his soundtrack starts with like a couple hundred songs yeah, yeah. that he listens to while he's writing. And then he kind of winnows it down to the, to the uh, you know the few that end up in the movies. But um, and we don't say his name. Oh, we just call him him. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he, <laughs> he shall not be spoken of. Yeah. No. Stop it. Can, can can I say it? Yeah, you okay. can say it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's a big guy, like he's 6'4", 
He shook my hand backstage. I was like, yes, okay, you're, yes, you're a very strong individual. You as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't put up with that. No, no it's okay. I have a big heart. <laughs> yeah, but, but, no, but, but so what song, you, what, or at least what, what, what would you put on there? Oh man, I mean... You well, were, you do, were do I have to stay Bands in line with... Yeah. Do I have to stay in line with... No, just, I mean... Just, John R. Yes. Yes. I would yes. like to see some 90s hip-hop on there. <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, gosh, I don't like, know. Like who? Oh, you seem like a Wu Tang kind of guy. Um, I love the Wu Tang. I love Gangstar. I'll go deep. I love Lord Finesse. Anybody Whoa! Wow, wow. Yeah, yeah, you. Yeah, you don't know what you're messing with here. Yeah, a, lot people, yeah. a lot of people are googling what, what, what did he yeah, just say? Yeah. Is Lord Finesse Shut a character up. in Guardians? Can we get some Slick Rick? How about that? I like the <laughs> Guardians that would be cool. all Slick Rick. Slick Rick. That would be yeah. cool. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say first off that I, when they told me that I got this panel, the first, like I was really excited because, yes, I loved you guys both in Guardians, that's awesome. But, Kirk and Benny, that's it. That's what I, I, I'm sorry, like I was like, I had a girlfriend that, uh, that made me sit down and watch Gilmore Girls. And I was and I was I was trying to be the good guy, and I fell in love with your character, man. Like I was like, I'm all about, I'm all about her. So yeah. So thank you for being. I here. appreciate that. One time I, I was at a convention doing a, a Guardians panel with Michael Rooker, and I got like ten or twelve Gilmore Girls questions in a row, and I think that's why he doesn't want to do panels. <laughs> Probably at some point. What is Gilmore Girls? Yeah. When the truth is, the truth is, is that Michael Rooker's dirty little secret is that he's the biggest Gilmore Girls fan in the world. Watches every episode multiple times. Every dude is. If it, dudes, fellas, watch the show, okay? It's, it's good. Uh, but, and I, I loved you. I loved you in Stranger Things. I mean, you were actually the first person to show your character is the first person to show Eleven like an actual, you know, good human contact. Yeah, the Duffer Brothers pulled pulled a real fancy trick by making me seem important. <laughs> And then just killing me right in the head. Is that what happened? They killed me so hard in the head. But, but, but you look good. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. There's I a, gotta see that now because I I only watch. This is why I haven't seen This Is Us. Is that I only like to watch things you're in if you die, which is most things. So yeah. So yeah. I have to make sure I check that out. Yeah. <laughs> Di dying on camera was my minor yeah. in college. <laughs> It, it, it looks like you're going to be the new Sean Bean. I mean, like, just... yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> he dies in everything. No, um, so, yeah, when they when they came to you with the idea of Taserface, like, 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 please take me through this. Like, how? how the... Well, yeah. So, I, 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 hmm. he he's a he's an obscure character from the Marvel universe, and so in my head. I'm going, I just, I really hope that this is a joke. I hope that this name is a joke. And sure enough, sure enough it was. Um, because I couldn't figure out how we were going to make uh, uh, someone named Taserface truly uh, a, a formidable yeah. opponent. Yeah. Yes, I love it. I laughed so hard when you died, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just... I shouldn't have said that out loud. I'm gonna go. Don't worry, I'll, I'll do the same when you die. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. No, it's funny though, You're, that last take is great. That, it's, last, that last look on his face, cause it's not even, uh, it's just kind of a, it's like a puppy, he's like. <sighs> it's like a, it's like a, one of those. Yeah. <laughs> How long did it take for you to get into all that? I mean, I'm about two and a half, three hours. It's a, uh, it's not, it's not as long as anybody else on that, on okay. that uh, uh, film. Actually, it was a pretty, pretty short period of time. They got the uh, the makeup artist got real good at it, and uh, and so the time got less and less each time we did it. It's awesome. Like you're a very handsome man. I will, I will say that. Because why did he get quiet when I he's, said that? He's just trying to dig himself out of that dying hole. Well, I mean, for for a guy. 
guy named Taserface. You got a handsome face, all right? Thank you. Thank Hashtag you. handsome face. There it is. So what's next for what, what's next for for you guys? What, what are you guys currently working on? Well, uh, I've been working on this little this little indie movie. These, these indie movies that we got a Kickstarter together. Um, it's called Avengers: Infinity War. Uh, That was very, very good. Uh, uh, yeah, no, so uh, I've been doing that for uh, for a little while, and I've been down in Atlanta. That's where I flew in from last night. It's really fun. Um, everything I've just told you about it is as much as I can say. <laughs> um, so I can't say anything else, but it, that's been great. This and you're the, he's shooting right now, too. Yeah, I'm working on uh, season two of This Is Us. Uh, starts this Tuesday. NBC. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you live in this show? What's that? Do you, do you live in? So far, so good. Okay, good. We had, we had a bit of a shaky, shaky moment, scary, right? We had a bit of a shaky moment in, in season one, yes. where my character has been revealed has some kind of heart problem, and, and we kind of took a dive for a second. Oh. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, maybe I should start watching. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. And then, and then you heard that I lived, and you were like, oh, yeah, oh great, I can, uh, I can check out Handmaid's Tale. Let Chris live, okay? Let Chris live. I'm rooting for you and everything now. Just, just hashtag, who said that? Hashtag? Yes, there we go. Um, so, uh, you, you can't tell us anything about Avengers Infinity War, which is fine. I'm good with that. Yeah, it's fun. I've, I've worked with some uh, new people. Okay. <laughs> Can't say who they are. I know, that's fine. Are your new friends really strong and powerful? Um, Don't do it. <laughs> they, they, spin they, have, it. They, they will have spin strong it. strong and powerful personalities as people nice. okay. in real life. <laughs> strong and powerful odors. <laughs> After a day on set in some yeah. of those suits, yeah. Do you work with any old people? Uh, what? Old people? What? You said you work with some new people. Yeah. Oh, old old people. people. Oh, old people. Like people I've worked with before. Not yes. geriatrics. Yes, I've worked with, I've worked with a, a bunch of. Or wait, is Stan Lee in it? Old and new. I've heard great things about. No, I've, honestly, I've heard some great things about your friends. You know, like your new friends that you've met. You know, I heard one guy, he's incredible. You know what I mean? And, and, uh, <laughs> One guy's a knight in shining armor, I mean, and one guy really breaks the hammer down, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, Do you want us to leave? You can just finish your, <laughs> finish your set? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Working on my type 5 at a comic store, okay? <laughs> no, no, but, uh, no, yeah, it's been great. Seriously, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's like, there are these, you know, huge-ass movies, and, and uh, the, the Russo brothers are awesome, and it's been cool. Awesome. Um, but when I was asking, I mean, are you, are you working on anything maybe a little smaller? Like, <laughs> um, an actual indie film that needs a Kickstarter? You know, I'm going to be doing this for a little bit, and then I'm going to go shoot a movie um, early next year. Uh, looks like I'm shooting this movie called The Tom Commandments. Um, and, uh, and then, I don't know, we'll see. I mean, Guardians 3 will be coming around, around the world <laughs> sooner or later. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to stay busy. I'm going to do a, a horror movie later this year, just for a couple days. Um, awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Awesome. Um, I just, I want to get this, uh, we are, I know we have some people lined up for questions already. I, I kind of want to get to those people right off the bat. If, so if you, um, if you, where's the mics at? Oh, there they are. Okay. Hi. <laughs> then they're, wow. I, oh, that was wow. She illuminates. <laughs> uh, Sean, I love you as Kirk in Gilmore Girls. Thank you. Is there anything you could tell us, anything we might find out this season on This Is Us of how Jack or when he dies? Anything? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, like, I, I read the end of Harry Potter before the rest of the book. <laughs> this is where I just have to say nothing. <laughs> because I will accidentally say something. Because <laughs> I'm have a huge mouth. If you had I cannot tell you. Um, 
but I believe that Miguel murdered him. <laughs> to steal his Mandy Moore wife. I don't know if that's confirmed. That's one fan's theory. is like my favorite character of any show ever. <laughs> I'm wondering how much of Kirk's funniness and personality um, was your creation versus scripted, and if you have funny behind the scenes stories about playing Kirk. Oh goodness. Um, well, it was certainly a lot of fun to play Kirk. I got to do a lot of interesting things. I would say that in terms of the, I mean, how much was my own creation? I mean, all of, all of the words are from Amy Sherman Palladino and Dan and, and their writer's room. Um, and I was lucky to have great writing. But I, I think that since the character was not originally intended to be a regular, I just came on as a, as a DSL installer and I was asked back again and again and eventually became part of the, the fabric of the town. Um, I, I think that it was a really good, um, for me it was a really fulfilling creative experience was sort of a give and take with the creators of the show about the character just in terms of how I portrayed him. So we never sat down and talked about who Kirk was, but I would do things on set, mannerisms or whatever, and then she'd start to write more towards that, and I'd start to act more towards that, and along the way we kind of built this character over, you know, over time that, uh, that I think is really, um, it's certainly super fun for me to play. And I know that uh, he's, you know, I've gotten such a good response from fans. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I love doing it. Um, I love doing it. Thanks. Good thing Michael isn't here. Michael is here. Yeah. My question's for Sean. Out of, out of all the jobs that Kirk had in. Stars Hollow, what is your favorite and why? Um, well, a lot of my favorite episodes are, are episodes where Kirk isn't working, really. You know, like when he's playing Tevya and Filler on the Roof. Or with with eight-year-olds. Um, or, uh, you know, um, night terrors, you know, anything like that. As far as the jobs, I really liked announcing the hockey game um, because I got to sit down all day at work. <laughs> <laughs> Huge fan of sitting. Yeah, it's one of my favorite activities. This was going to be a standing fan. Sitting down. I was like, no. No, I don't know. I think I fancy myself as I could have been a sports announcer in another life. So. Uh, I don't know why I think that, but I just... You'd be great. I, I, I thank you. You have a nice um, timbre to your voice. Mm, I appreciate that. Um, I don't know. That one stuck out as a lot of fun. But they, they all, you know, they, there's different things that stick out about so many different things I did on the show. Awesome. Thank you very much. What do you even play with? <laughs> What do you like to do at home? Got it. <laughs> yeah. I like to, uh, first of all, your dress is very pretty. It's very pretty. Um, second, I like to play guitar, and I like to play the ukulele. And oddly enough, I really enjoy doing dishes. <laughs> it's a weird thing, but I really enjoy it. I'm, I'm with you, man. Are you a dishwasher guy, or do you like to use a? Are you like no, to use by hand? Yeah, I, I like by hand. I enjoy I it. It's uh, <laughs> that's why you like the hand. Let's talk so. backstage about this later. Can you guys get us some dirty dishes to I, do? Uh, <laughs> I I like to play with my cat, the business. Uh, he's a lot of fun. He's one of my he's one of my best friends, and I like to cook a lot. Um, when I can, when I'm not too busy. And yeah, I like, um, I have a new house. I like finding things for my house and painting and things like that. So it's been fun. Thank you. That's a great question. I love that thing. Hello. 
my Marky McFly, and no, you cannot go back in time. Okay, good. Uh, my question is, you guys uh, mentioned uh, Michael Roker, and you did an impersonation of him. So do you have any funny stories of Michael Roker? Not what one. You... Real boring dude, yeah. <laughs> what a snooze fest Roker is. <laughs> Rooker likes to pull his pants down at inopportune moments. Front or back? On, uh, just pants. Uh, yeah. And um, define inopportune. You no, know, there was a particularly uh, serious emotional scene between Dave Bautista and Pom Clementiev, who played Drax and um, and Mantis, and uh, and they were in rehearsals for that scene, and it's very very emotional and. All of a sudden, they hear a banging on the glass, and they look over to the window, and Rooker's bear, all together, is uh, <laughs> staring them in the face while they're trying to perform this scene. That was one of the most unpleasant days. You all right? I was safe place. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I was kind of glad he did it, though, because now I always have an answer to that question. <laughs> Thank you. Park and and uh, and they did something like almost oh, almost forty different full camera tests. Right, so her face didn't get, exactly right. So her face didn't get deleted in front of a green it's screen. Exactly yeah, right. So I was just thinking. It was like, wait a minute. Right. I know. Anyway, go ahead. Well, I had a question for each of you. My first question was for Sean. I was wondering if you could give us uh, any information about whether or not your character Craglin would be able to don Yondu's fin in the Infinity Wars movie, or maybe the next Guardians movie, and maybe master that? <laughs> I've been working on it in my spare time. I've been whistling to, in case I get the call. But uh, um, yeah, I don't know right now. I mean, I, basically, I know what you know as a fan. I know that at the end of the second movie, um, Kraglin's wearing the fin, but he's not very good at it. Um, and I, so at least, but we know he's still on that ship with the Guardians, at least. At least at the end of the movie. Um, and um, I can't comment on anything about Infinity War, but um, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful that we'll see Kraglin in the fin again. All right, Chris, who do you think would win in an arm wrestling match? Taser face or Kraglin? Let's see it. Let's close this out right. <laughs> Hey, Sean, no, you know. I got money on you, but Because he's a lover, not a fighter. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. He'd be, he'd be so Our, I, I feel like if Chris and I tried to arm wrestle, it would just turn into us tenderly holding hands. <laughs> and that's what we want to see. Deeper than each other's eyes. I don't want to I don't even want to fight. I'm all out of love. <laughs> Thank you so much.